This is a video presentation describing an arthroscopic knotless modified McLaughlin procedure for a reverse Hillsax lesion. A standard posterior lateral portal is established in addition to an anterior superior portal high in the rotator interval and an anterior inferior portal just superior to the subscapularis tendon. A complete diagnostic arthroscopy is performed with careful examination of the posterior capsulolabral complex and the anterior humeral head, which are better evaluated with arthroscopy with the arthroscope switched to the anterior portal. Internal rotation of the humeral head can demonstrate whether the hill sex lesion engages the posterior glenoid rim. A shaver and rasp are used to debride the reverse hill sex lesion and prepare a bleeding bony surface for subscapularis remplissage. Subcorcoid debridement is performed with attention paid toward clearing the space anterior to the subscapularis tendon to facilitate future suture retrieval. A spinal needle is inserted percutaneously through the subscapularis tendon at the level of the reverse hillsex lesion and a PDS suture is passed and retrieved through the cannula in the anterior inferior portal. The PDS suture is used to shuttle a fiber tape suture and the limb exiting the anterior surface of the subscapularis is retrieved with a fiber wire grasper through the anterior inferior portal. The fiber wire limbs are loaded into a 4.75 mm swivel lock anchor, which is inserted into the prepared reverse Hillsax lesion in standard fashion. The fiber tape sutures are tensioned to pull the subscapularis into the reverse Hillsax lesion, filling the void that was previously present. The sutures are then cut flush and a dynamic exam can be performed to reassess stability.